It's been quite a weather week. You know, we dealt with heat and humidity last week. It's been cool and really wet this week. Some of us in central North Carolina, more than six inches of rain just this week. So we don't need any more of this really anywhere. We've got some showers, some light to moderate downpours for you guys up in Person County. So we're northwest of the triangle up around Roxboro, Bethel Hill, right here along the Virginia border. And as we widen out, you can see everyone else is dry. A couple showers down here in Moore County, but this is the activity that we'll watch back in the triad. Some of that will sneak in here overnight. And then a little bit of that could be around tomorrow morning. But listen, like I said, we've had way too much rain this week. Think of some of the rivers and how high they are. They're as high as they are sometimes when we get a hurricane. And we haven't had a hurricane. We've just had low pressure and rain this week. Let's start with the worst of the weather, and that's the, the Tar River. All right, a lot of water been dumped in there. Lewisburg, you're starting to fall. You're going to be back below flood stage on Friday for the Tar River. It's at 22 feet now. Flood stage is 20. So we'll come down the line a little. We'll go to Rocky Mount. That will be below flood stage on Saturday. So another two days above flood stage. It's already started to fall. It crested earlier today. It's at 26.3. And again, it'll be below flood stage on Saturday. The Rocky Mountain got as high as 27.3. That's the third highest ever. And the top two others were for hurricanes. So strange weather week and the water still flowing down to Tarboro. You're going to go above flood stage in the next couple of days. You're currently at 16.5, but Saturday you'll crest at 25.1. And that's going to mean you're going to have River Road is going to be underwater. You guys in Tarboro know how that is. Unfortunately, you do this a lot. So still some more water to come down the line. For us, we've got more water coming from the sky tomorrow as rain chances will be a little higher tomorrow compared to where they were today. And we'll start off a little warmer, 65. We'll jump up to 70 by 9 a.m. Again, it'll be another mostly cloudy day. Few peaks of sunshine in the afternoon. Small rain chances in the morning, just 20% here or there. We'll up it a little bit in the afternoon to about 40, maybe 50% as we'll top out at 81. So today got warmer, high was 80, tomorrow will be 81 degrees. So it's going to kind of look and feel the same, just with a little more rain on the forecast. And we haven't had a lot of pretty sunsets here this week because we've had so many darn clouds. So thanks to Ron at Shelly Lake last week for capturing this spot. I had to make it small enough so you could see the sun setting, the trees there, the lake, the geese making a cameo. Beautiful shot. I'll put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and a Facebook page if you want to take a second look. Thanks again to Ron. And don't forget, tomorrow's the last full day of astronomical spring. Summer starts on Saturday. Summer is also the longest day of the year. So enjoy these long days because starting next week, our sun's going to start setting earlier. Our days are going to start to get shorter. But next week, we will not have this pesky area of low pressure. This is the one that's been around the last few days giving us rain. This is the one that's slowly moving away. So since it's taking its time, we still have clouds and rain in the forecast tomorrow. And this is what Futurecast will look like in the morning. Again, a couple of showers. Melissa and Laura will be here keeping an eye on the roads and the radar for you tomorrow morning starting at 4.30. And then by lunchtime, more coverage, light to moderate rain, not expecting severe weather. And then we get some breaks in the clouds, some breaks in the rain as we head toward dinner time tomorrow, and then mostly dry toward Friday evening. So that's about a 50% chance tomorrow. Same chance on Saturday. Saturday morning, here we are at 7 a.m., starts dry. Then a couple of showers start to bubble up as we get into the afternoon. Again, not severe weather, not enough to cause flooding, but nobody really needs any more rain at this point. We also have more humidity. We were muggy today, and that humidity will go up a little more over the next couple of days. So keep that in mind as you look at the extended forecast, because low 80s, you're probably not going to really notice the humidity. Keep an eye out for those 50% chances of rain. But on Father's Day, when we're back to near 90, and most of next week when we're near 90, you will notice the humidity. We also keep scattered showers and storms around for next week as well. Let's look at your forecast. Sports is up next.